I have just presented a Meet the Professor session on cardiovascular disease and diabetes. People with diabetes, unfortunately, die predominantly from cardiovascular disease. And uh, this is uh, due to multiple factors called comorbid conditions. So diabetes itself is a risk factor, but other fellow travelers, such as hypertension and high cholesterol levels, also contribute significantly to the heart disease burden in diabetes. The approach to risk reduction in, in diabetes uh, embodies multiple, a multifaceted approach. We have to decrease uh, blood pressures toward normal, we have to control high cholesterol levels, and we have to control diabetes. In addition, we have to administer other tried and tested uh, medications appropriately, such as aspirin. We have to monitor our patients for symptoms and also assess their heart with uh, electrocardiography and, if necessary, uh, with additional cardiovascular uh, tools. Recently, there has been some controversy regarding the practice of cholesterol management in people with diabetes. Until now, we had been driven by numbers. We, uh, we were prone to test levels of cholesterol before administering statin or other drugs, then retest the cholesterol level to see if we were at goal. The joint advisory from the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association that was released in 2013 introduces a newer approach an approach that is not rooted in measuring and remeasuring cholesterol levels, but one that upfront assesses the magnitude of risk that a patient faces with regard to cardiovascular events, and then stratifies them to be candidates for high intensity studying or moderate intensity studying. Initially, uh, professionals were skeptical haven't not fully digested the new guidelines, but now I think most agencies are on board and uh, have accepted the uh, wisdom and practicality of the new recommendations. In the 2015 American Diabetes Standards of Care guidelines, uh, there is a recognition of the new practice as uh, persuasive. Uh, so physicians are a bit reluctant not to measure cholesterol because they say, how do you know the patient is taking the statin drug? And I sympathize with that view and would recommend that at least some measurement be made earlier on uh, prior to treatment and maybe at some point after initiation of treatment to document uh, compliance. Uh, but thereafter, uh, treating to some arbitrary target is not, no longer considered a compelling scientific practice.